I offer you a brief recap of the plot. From the first season of the series The Morning Show, let's dive in. The biggest television channel in America broadcasts a very popular morning show aptly named The Morning Show. One of the hosts, Mitch, is fired after an investigation into allegations of sexual misconduct. Neither Mitch nor his co-host, Alex, was aware of the investigation, and Alex realizes she could now be in jeopardy because of it. During a live broadcast, she announces to all of America that her co-host was fired due to sexual misconduct. Greatly angering Mitch as it means his career is effectively over. We are also introduced to another character, a fiery reporter named Bradley who becomes an overnight viral sensation after a clip of her clashing with protesters, surfaces online. Subsequent to this, Bradley quits her job. The morning show decides to feature her, and on the same day, they fly Bradley to New York where Alex interviews her. Alex presses her hard during the interview, but Bradley stands her ground, impressing everyone in the studio. The television channel's executive director, Corey, sees potential in Bradley and begins promoting her, hoping to provoke Alex into a misstep, which could ultimately lead to her dismissal. Alex realizes that her current position at the television channel is very tenuous and her contract might not be renewed. She threatens the management, stating that if she leaves the show, the ratings would plummet. However, Corey mocks her and doesn't believe her threats. At an event held in Alex's honor, Bradley is also invited and is deliberately seated next to Alex to provoke her, deciding to take a bold move. And even though she doesn't like the young reporter, Alex publicly announces Bradley as her new co-host in front of everyone. Fred, the president of the television channel, is furious with this declaration, however, Corey calms him down, believing that this will play into their hands, as they would ultimately find it easier to fire Alex. Nevertheless, at a meeting with investors, Alex confronts Fred, declaring that without her, the morning show would come to an end. Bradley is shocked to find herself as the main host, and the morning show team has to quickly prepare her for live broadcasting. Mia offers to become Bradley's producer, and she readily agrees. During the live broadcast, while talking about herself, Bradley mentions having had an abortion at the age of 15. Fred is in a frenzy, but Corey assures him that it's actually a good thing, suggesting that a new, younger audience that supports such views will now tune in. Hannah, the senior agent at the television channel, discovers that one of the women who Mitch had harassed is planning to give an interview to a rival channel. Hannah persuades her to share her story on the morning show, and Bradley conducts the interview. However, Bradley goes off script, pressing the woman hard, revealing that someone else at the channel had prior knowledge of this issue. Alex starts to feel a pang of jealousy, as Bradley's popularity on the show begins to eclipse hers. On Fred's orders, the Human Resources Department launches an investigation, seeking to identify who else was aware of Mitch's behavior and how this might impact the channel. Through the course of this investigation, it's revealed that Mia was the one who filed a complaint against Mitch, as they had a romantic history and she realized she could no longer endure his inappropriate behavior at work towards other women. However, she didn't want him to be fired. I'd also like to mention that Mitch's wife leaves him. Meanwhile, not everything is smooth in Alex's personal life either. For a long time, she hasn't been living with her husband, but they maintain a facade for the public, pretending they are still together. Nevertheless, mid-season, her husband decides to divorce her, and their daughter blames her mother for it, feeling that Alex prioritized her job over the family, which is partly true. In parallel, the story also introduces us to the weather news anchor named Yanko and an assistant named Claire, 
they secretly date at work. Given the ongoing controversies, they are hesitant to announce their relationship, however, by the end of the season, they are almost ready to go public. Still, Claire fears that her colleague's perception of her might change after the revelation and decides to leave Yanko. Yet, in the final episode, Claire openly embraces him. There's another peculiar subplot involving Daniel, who anchors the political news on the morning show. He was expected to replace Mitch. But with Bradley's arrival, he became resentful towards the channel and wanted to move to a competitor, revealing the dirty secrets from his tenure. The New York Times is preparing an article about a sexual scandal involving Mitch. Mitch approaches the network and asks his former colleagues to vouch for him. But no one is willing to do so. Recalling words from their last interview, Bradley asks Mitch if anyone else was aware of the ongoing situation. At first, he doesn't share any information with her. However, when the article in the New York Times is released and Mitch realizes that the network painted him, as a complete villain, he decides to meet with Bradley. We also find out that Chip, the show's executive producer, orchestrated things so that the New York Times article would primarily target Mitch, without implicating the entire network. As revealed towards the end of the season, he did this because he deeply cares about Alex and didn't want her to get hurt. At a charity event, an emotional Alex seeks out Mitch because she misses him. Mitch suggests they get together, justifying it by saying they had once slept together and neither of them currently has a significant other. However, at that moment, the aforementioned New York Times article gets released and upon reading it, Alex rejects Mitch's proposition. In California, wildfires rage and the morning show sends most of its team to report on the situation. Alex has an on-air meltdown due to her divorce, but Bradley manages to calm her down. Bradley also shares with a colleague about her alcoholic father, who abandoned their family 15 years ago. Chip realizes that he's likely to be fired soon because of the entire situation with Mitch and seeks advice from Corey. Corey tells Chip that he wants to overthrow Fred from his position as the network's director. If Chip can help by finding some dirt on Fred, a place on the morning show is guaranteed for him. While reporting on the California fires, Bradley suggests a story revealing how wealthy individuals bribe firefighters to prioritize their homes, leaving ordinary people's homes to burn. Fred bans this report as he is among those who pay these firefighters, yet Chip, enjoying the chance to upset Fred, lets the story air. Hannah offers Claire several career advice tips, and through a fortunate turn of events, Bradley takes Claire on as her assistant. Nevertheless, Hannah sees Claire sneaking into Yanka's room at night, and assumes this is how she got her new position. Bradley meets with Mitch, who proposes an interview on the morning show where he can share his side of the story. He also wants to reveal to the public that Fred was aware of the harassment happening at the network. Bradley demands proof, and Mitch claims there's one person who can corroborate his story. That person is Hannah. A few years ago, she was an assistant, but Mitch saw potential in her and took her with him on a report trip to Las Vegas in the evening. He invited her to his room and, leveraging his influence, essentially coerced her into sex. Upon returning to New York, Hannah, overwhelmed by the situation, reports Mitch's actions to Fred. However, instead of taking her side, he offers her a promotion to keep her quiet. We are also shown that, even back then, the network had plans to fire Alex since her ratings began to decline. Bradley tells Alex about her intention to interview Mitch, which infuriates Alex. She approaches Fred, informs him about the plot, and negotiates to have both Chip and Bradley fired. Conversely, 
the latter to go to Corey and arrange to conduct a clandestine interview with Mitch. Believing this will lead to Fred's dismissal, Alex also visits Mitch and threatens him with disclosing certain information if he proceeds with the interview. It turns out that, in a distant past, Mitch took advantage of a drunk Alex and had an intimate relationship with her. Whether this is true or not remains uncertain. Mitch meets with Hannah, asking her to confirm his allegations regarding Fred's involvement in the sex scandal. Hannah is infuriated but agrees on the condition of anonymity. Soon, Bradley demands Mitch to disclose his source and goes to talk with Hannah. Habitually, Bradley pressures Hannah to reveal all the details, making Hannah relive that traumatic night. Hannah pushes Bradley away. But Bradley manages to record their conversation on a dictaphone. Maggie Brenner, a renowned journalist, is also writing an article about the toxic atmosphere at the Morning Show Network. She discovers the conspiracy between Chip and Corey and reports it to Fred. Given they're old friends, nonetheless, she informs him that she will still release the article, which will be the final nail in Fred's coffin. Chip gets fired and realizes that immediate action is required. He convinces Corey and his team to discreetly bring Mitch into the studio, lock themselves in, and commence the interview. However, in light of all that transpired, Hannah dies from a drug overdose, presumably committing suicide. And the team at the morning show learns about it. Alex realizes she has chosen the wrong side and, together with Bradley, they go live to expose the network's leadership's cover-up of sexual harassment. End of the first season. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and comment below. I also have a Buy Me Coffee account where you can financially support my content. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching. See you later.